Good evening, traveler. Your arrival comes as a surprise. Is everything all right? I see. In that case, what leads you to me so late? Do you require the star's guidance? Have you eaten yet today? Very good. It is unwise to neglect the needs of your body. What? Of course I've eaten today. I can fend for myself, thank you. Do not look at me like that. My work is very important. If that means I must skip meals, then I shall. Not to mention, I've been so busy with my divination, I haven't had time to go into town and get a meal. I don't require your help. I will simply get a meal when I'm at a good stopping part. I suppose it is getting dark, and most of the shops will be closing within the next two hours. Perhaps we should use the last remaining daylight to find a meal. I suppose I do need a break from finishing tomorrow's column. The work of an astrologer is quite taxing. Did you have a place in mind? All the way in Leeway Harbor? The restaurant at the Wang Shu Inn. <clears throat> the way of an astrologer is a minimal one, free of clutter, of people, and expensive things. That includes expensive meals. Indulging yourself every time you get a hunger pang is uncivilized and frankly dangerous, I think. And don't even try to skim past what happened the last time I went there with you. Yes, it worked out in the end, but it was still a hassle. <sighs> we don't have time to fool around. Just give me a moment to gather my things. All right, we can depart. Allow me to teleport us there. There we go. Wait a minute. This is Di Hua Marsh. There's no way I messed something so simple up. That's preposterous. <clears throat> I can't believe I've made such a stupid mistake. I suppose not eating really does mess with my brain power. I don't need you to make me meals. I'm insulted you'd even ask. <laughs> Let's keep moving forward. I want to make this trip worth it. Enjoy the setting sun. I don't think we have time for that, do we? The restaurant will surely close soon. Maybe later. These dirt baths are muddy. I apologize for making such a silly mistake. I understand it isn't a big deal, but I consider you to be close to me, and I can't let my mistake eat away at my conscience, no matter how small it was. I'm not being soft. Don't mistake kindness with weakness. I really do wish you'd stop teasing me so much. I'm much smarter than you are. Mm hmm. And can you explain the movement of celestial bodies? Hmm? How about the prophecy of submersion? Oh, or could you maybe decipher some of the texts in this book? <laughs> I think all you know how to do is swing that sword around and look pretty. <laughs> Don't take that too personally. I've seen your divine potential. I simply meant it as a compliment. <laughs> Taunting me isn't wise, Traveler. If you keep up with the attitude, I'll have to speak with the cosmos personally and make sure you never see another jade parcel or a Trayvot fried egg ever again. <laughs> Alright, knock it off. We're nearing the inn. I still wonder why you wanted to come all the way here for a meal. As I said, extravagant meals are a waste of time and resources. I... I would prefer a salad. They're simple, quick, easy. The work of an astrologer is never done, so I need things that I can eat quickly and efficiently. Not to mention rent is due, I can't possibly afford anything that they serve here except maybe a bowl of rice. <laughs> well, we're here. I suppose we just seat ourselves, right? That's what we did last time, isn't it? I'm almost sure of it. It's busy tonight. I wonder if something special is going on. Valentine's Day? Hmm. I've never celebrated such holidays. Of course I know what it is. Do you think my knowledge ends at stars? I know much more than people think. Anyway, I already know what I want. Just some rice. So I won't be needing a menu. I need to make sure I have time to get some other things to make. So I'll be visiting one of the local shops to find some grains and fruits for home. Oh, yes. We're ready to order. You can go first. E excuse me, I... Why would you order two of the largest things on the menu? There's no way I can pay for that. I mean, 
I have no need for extravagance. When she comes back, I'll be telling her to change it. I... <clears throat> if I'm honest, I don't have the more to pay for Golden Crab. I had to purchase more supplies just last week, and rent will be due shortly. I can give you what I have, but I'll have to give you the rest to pay you back at a later date. I need not for you to pay for me. That would be rude to even consider accepting. W where did you get all of that? I understand you work with the guild, but to have such a bountiful source of income is extraordinary. I can't say I'm surprised, though. You are a talented adventurer. Though I don't possess your want for Finnit Mora, I can admire your hard work. Thank you. This smells incredible. I, I didn't need this, but I appreciate it regardless. That being said, I still will be paying you back. Arguing is useless. What do you mean? This is not a date. I decided to come because I needed a break from my studies. Don't make such silly claims. Why not put all of that energy toward eating? I can't imagine spoiling such an expensive meal by letting it get cold. This is delectable. This truly is a blessing from the stars. I saw a treat in my near future just last night in my reading. This must have been it. I have to thank you again for being so kind as to allow me to pay you back for this. Yes, I will be paying it back. You may have an abundance of Mora, but I have... Are you ignoring me? What do you mean you won't take my Mora? Hm. Fine, then. What, can I see using my divination? Most things. I'm very skilled in my practice, after all. What kind of question is that? Yes, I can see trivial things, too. I can see your favorite color, food, animal. I can even see what's in your bag. <laughs> I can check just about anything. You, you want me to see if there's a someone that likes you? Now why would you need to see such a silly thing? Maybe you should find out for yourself. If only you'd look beyond, maybe you'd see with your own eyes and not have to use my magic. Hm. Well, yes, I can look. You may not like the answer, though, so don't blame me. Hmm. The stars are very clear this evening clearer than I'd hoped. What do you mean I'm beating around the bush? I'm just thoroughly examining your... Never mind. There is someone that likes you, but I'm going to make you guess. Yes, it's someone you know. You've known her for some time. She's very smart and skilled. She makes time for you and very much enjoys your spontaneous visits, even if she is busy. She is not short. She is perfectly average height. Hm. That's all of the hints I'm giving you. If you can't figure it out with those, then I'm afraid I can't help you any further. So, make your guesses and let's make our way to the teleport waypoint. Who do you think it is? Eh? Jean? Although she's very strategically intelligent, she's not the person that likes you. Plus, how often do you surprise her with visits? You aren't very smart, are you? I wish you'd learn more about the power of knowledge. I suppose I can give you another hint. She... <laughs> she wears a big hat and carries a book with her. Eh? Lisa? Absolutely not. She's like that with everyone. <sighs> You're guessing everyone except me on purpose, aren't you? Of course it's me. I don't just let anyone take me places when I'm busy. And I don't just make the columns for your star sign more detailed just for fun. I know you probably don't read them anyway, but I'd always hoped. I've even put hints in there. What? What do you mean you already knew? So this was all just an act? You! Do you aim to frustrate me? I... I am not blushing. It's a warm night. What is so funny? I knew you were going to laugh. You can forget I even said anything. Let's just go back to Mondstadt. What do you mean you like me as well? Don't say such foolish things. 
I... I wish you wouldn't tease me. I'm sensitive to these things, you know. That's why you paid for tonight's meal, isn't it? You know you didn't have to. I feel like I should repay you somehow. But I have nothing to offer you. Although, I've admired you for quite some time. Ever since we met, there was a spark I immediately recognized as destiny. A destiny in which we were a perfect match. It seems rather silly, as you're a brute and I'm more... Well, Red. Putting that aside, each time I saw you, I felt our bond go stronger, into something special. I saw it in the stars, and had hoped you'd felt the same way. I feel guilty to admit, but I did look into your astrology without permission. For that, I apologize. I just had to know if you felt what I did. If you felt your heart beat faster whenever we'd lock eyes. I never felt that way before. You made me feel... special. I began to learn more and more and wanted to be around you even more often, but with my work, I'm only allowed so much free time. But then you started to visit more often, and I had never felt such joy. I thought that you'd eventually get tired of me constantly working and you'd eventually stop visiting. But you never did. I started having dreams about you, about the times we'd spend together, and dreamed of different places we could see each other. We would explore the great unknown and learn new things. Together we were unstoppable. And then I'd wake up and look forward to the next time I'd get to see you. This all sounds so odd saying out loud, but I can't help but feel a strong connection to you. I'd even written you another longer column entry. I suppose I could let you see it early. Only if you'd like. I only hope you won't laugh. <clears throat> Here it shows, in the near future, you're going to have something very fortunate happen, followed by what seems like a small inconvenience. It's no match for you, and you'll brush it off easily. Financially, you should tread carefully, for you'll meet a stranger that will ask for a large sum of more from you. I was unable to see why that is exactly, but I thought you would appreciate the knowledge in advance. Everything else here looks positive. The stars really do shine in your favor, Traveler. The universe sees how much potential you have. Anyway, we should be heading back. Well, you should. I still have to find a few things in town. You should head back to Mondstadt, though. You've made today... wonderful. Though I've never celebrated it before, you've made this into a fantastic Valentine's Day. Thank you. I, I should get going. If you'd like, you can stay in my lab for the night. I'll be back within the hour. Stay safe. <laughs> I know I'll be seeing you later, but in case you fall into slumber, good night. Hey guys, this is Gentle GF. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, give it a like and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter for updates on new releases as well. Thank you so, so, so much.